Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another timeless pick a card reading. Today's reading is all about love. Isn't that amazing? And I'll, I'll tell you why that's the case. I started this morning by writing up some quotes. I just searched for quotes by Rumi, the great Sufi poet, and I've got a bunch of quotes in here by Rumi. I'll pick two per group. So we've got that. Now, he, of course, was very much about love. He was about divine love. He was about romantic love. Then another thing that happened was I drew the cards this morning. I've had a brief look at them. They are all about love life this time, which is really interesting. I also received a wonderful donation from one of you. One of you hit my buy me a coffee button in one of my videos and you sent a little donation. Thank you so much with all my heart. And it was amazing because the message you put in there, you just wrote the word love. And I was like, yeah, that's exactly what today is all about. So thank you so much to the wonderful soul who did that. I'm just blown away by people's generosity so thank you and today you can choose from uh, between well yes group one group two or group three or by these flowers maybe you like the daisy here perhaps um, you like this orange I actually don't know what that is <laughs> if I find out I'll put the name on the screen but uh, I don't know but it's very beautiful and you could also choose from this lovely pink azalea here and these flowers are all from my mum's garden so you know I'm extremely grateful to my mum for having such an amazing garden so feel free to choose your group and I'll see you in your reading Hi there, group number one. If you chose group number one, if you chose by the number one, or maybe you chose this beautiful flower here. It's a really pretty daisy. And I'm able to do this because my mum gave me these um, little jars. So each time I'll put something fresh in here wherever possible because it's that's so fun to do. So maybe you chose by this beautiful flower, maybe you chose by the color white. And of course, if you chose the color white, perhaps you're quite connected in with Venus, you know. There is, a, I believe that's dark blue and gold in there, so maybe Saturn or Sun uh, might have influenced you to be here as well. So who knows how you've come to this reading, but welcome. And as with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates and please discard what doesn't because these are general for a lot of people so not everything applies to everyone exactly okay so we've got the card attachment with the number five here and so interesting she's holding a mask I believe that is a mask mm. okay so straight away we're off to a very interesting beginning there Let's have a look at what we've got for tarot. Today we've got a lot of tarot. I thought we would fill this with tarot more so than oracle cards. Okay, we've got the three of pentacles in reverse. We've got the ten of pentacles upright. we've got the Hierophant upright beautiful wow that's a great depiction really like that oh wow yes we've got the three of swords upright gosh this card there's always a dramatic depiction of this card classic heartbreak card and we've got one more oracle card from the Kipper deck. We've got main female. She's holding a rose. It's really interesting that and it's a single red rose as well. It's quite significant. It's really interesting that we've got two kind of single females here. Isn't that fascinating? She's holding a rose. She's holding a mask fascinating so let's take a look at this spread and let's see what is going on now I know when I looked at this earlier on my own briefly I had a look at the cards briefly and 
straight away, I mean, you know, my eye is drawn to this card here. This is to do with your love life. And I think this is to do with some past heartbreak that you've had to deal with. Maybe you're currently in a situation where you're dealing with some heartbreak. There's definitely heartbreak energy that's here. I also did get the sense that this could be this could be to do with marriage. This could be a situation to do with marriage. And I did get a feel as well that this could be quite a specific group. So if if this doesn't feel like you, heartbreak and something in connection to marriage. And I, I also got the vibe or the feeling that this could be to do with a divorce or something like that so let's say you've never been married this may not be the reading for you so I am getting a sense though that that you're learning to detach from something that happened in your past that perhaps you're not fully over as yet and, and the situation that I'm seeing is I think it could be to do with heartbreak in a marriage or it could be to do with a divorce you're single now and you you're clearing the feelings of this old heartbreak and i think the situation that was was that i think maybe you felt like you had it all but there's something about this relationship where there wasn't teamwork there wasn't teamwork in the relationship or the, I think the thing that was missing or the thing that could have been better was teamwork, I'm guessing. And I feel like this heartbreak, for example, wouldn't have happened if there was equal exchange between the two of you. Maybe you were following tradition by getting married etc and going for this relationship for example you're following tradition you were and this just popped into my head now this thing about were you trying to create someone else's dream gosh isn't that interesting and that's this is a thing of youth like sometimes we don't know what we want and Society gives us this picture of what we should go for or our parents give us a picture of what we should go for. Tradition, you know. It's like... <coughs> oh, yeah, I haven't felt the need to cough at all today. So that's <clears throat> interesting. There's something going on here. There's some clearing. There's some attachment. Maybe there's some attachment to an old dream that you had <coughs> wow okay interesting I'm not going to record this again or any of that I'm going to keep that I think there's some chakra clearing for somebody or something like that what we're going to do is we're going to get some guidance from Rumi I think straight away because we could do with some guidance from a master and this guy when it comes to love there is no one no one who can resolve heartbreak better than Rumi. So I'm very glad that this card has come up while we have these quotes. So that's a good thing because if there are heartbreak feelings to clear, the wisdom, yeah, well, here we go straight away. <laughs> this is immediately helpful. Let the waters settle and you will see the moon and stars mirrored in your own being, Rumi. Yeah, there's, there's a situation here that you, I, I do believe you are recovering from it. I think you're recovering from it really, really, really well. I think this is showing, this mask here is very much showing, I think you see, I think you now see exactly all the dynamics and all the patterns and all the things about that other person that perhaps at the beginning you were not able to see because this message is about letting the waters settle and you will see the moon and stars mirrored in your own being. You'll see the truth. You'll see the good and the bad. You know, you'll see everything. 
when the waters settle, when you are calm, when you are still. And this relates in astrology to the fourth house, relates to the eighth house, it relates to the twelfth. You know, it's that kind of watery, I guess, yeah, would we say moksha energy? It's kind of um, in the stillness, everything's going to make sense. And when things make sense, that's where you're going to find your peace. And it's going to be the truth, you know. Um, it's good. It's good. You're, you're, I feel like you're in a place of, of healing, everything making sense, the past making sense. You know, I think, and that is this tradition card here. That is the past. I think, yeah, I'm just, I'm just kind of drawn here now. And I'm getting a sense that <clears throat> the past, the past is definitely going to make sense or is making sense right now. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful as well. Your task is not to seek for love, but merely to seek and find all the barriers within yourself that you have built against it, Rumi. Absolutely. So while all of this settles and while all of this calms down, you're going to be able to see what was it within you that see and I'm getting different words here what was it within you that attracted the situation what was it in you that co-created the situation what was it within you that led to you being part of yeah I, I guess a situation where where things didn't work out you'll be able to see what that, what that is and all you have to do is really become aware of it. It's through the awareness, it's through the seeing, it's through the recognition that, wow, I was wearing a mask or I was wearing a mask that someone else wanted me to wear, you know, that my parents trained me to wear, right? Perhaps you were wearing a mask. Perhaps the other person was wearing a mask. Okay, so this other person, where the teamwork wasn't there, there's something about, there's a harmony, there's a, like, when this is upright, there's harmony, there's flow, there's ability to create something absolutely beautiful. When this is in its reverse position, the teamwork isn't there. You might be given it your all, but there's something about that other person not showing up fully or they weren't able to show up fully they were wearing a mask that was preventing them from being able to be that person that that you would have really liked you know um <clears throat> my throat's getting a lot better <laughs> so this situation is resolving and it's going to resolve okay but it's i feel like what's needed and this is, you, you're going to manifest this. You're going to manifest this ten of pentacles, this dream home, this beautiful life. You've got pets and people you love all around you. And you will find another lover if that's what you want. Rumi is saying that, you know, and he's saying, he's, he's basically saying, don't seek for love. Magnetize it, manifest it, draw it in. You don't have to go out looking for love. And that's... A little piece of advice that uh, I got from Jerry Wise. Jerry Wise says that, you know, if you're single and you're looking for that right partner for you, he says, don't go on online dating. Don't seek for it. Just keep doing your spiritual work. And that's exactly what Rumi is saying here. He's saying that don't seek for something. That's being in a state of lack. Be in a state of abundance. Be in a state of fullness be in a state where, and all you have to do is just find the barriers within yourself that you have built against it. You see, he doesn't say to let go of the barriers or to drop the barriers or dismantle the barriers. He just says to find them, 
become aware of them. And it's in that awareness, as I said earlier, and I know this is a bit repetitive, but I'm coming back here because she's aware. She sees, oh, wow, look at this mask. And she therefore knows who she is. And that's, that's all I think that this reading is asking of you, that if you know yourself deeply, then you will magnetize and bring this into being. It, it will just start forming around you. You won't have to go anywhere, seek anything, do anything. It will just start manifesting around you. You will attract, magnetize, and bring in the things that are absolutely right for you. So, guys, group number one, I think the guidance here is, is that, and I think this is your strongest card, this Ten of Pentacles life that you dream of and that you envisage, it will just start manifesting around you. And I think it's all you have to do is keep doing your spiritual work, keep seeing what's within you. And the more you become self-aware, the more the things you don't need, they'll just start to drop away. They really will. Group number one, I hope this has been a good reading for you. Please let me know in the comments below how you got on. I hope I can get back to you. If I can't, it's, it's just because I'm too busy, but I read absolutely everyone's message. So thank you so much for commenting and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, you are in the right place. Perhaps you chose via the number two. Perhaps you chose via this beautiful orange flower. Oh, hello. It's going to focus. Oh, there we go. How wonderful, look at that, it's so pretty. And it's got this gorgeous kind of orangey yellow color. So maybe you chose, maybe, hmm, what planet would bring you here? Maybe Jupiter, uh, maybe the sun. It's a bit of sort of yellow uh, flecks there on the, on the edges of the petals. Maybe even Saturn brought you here, some black. So isn't that exciting? Wow, how beautiful. All right, let's take a look and see what cards you chose. So we have got, oh, action, amazing. We've had this card before from this deck. This one likes to come up quite a bit. As with any of my readings, take on board what resonates and please discard what doesn't because these are for quite a few people and yeah, <laughs> not, not everything applies to absolutely everyone. Right, we've got the five of wands in reverse. Oh, wow, we've got the five of swords in reverse. That's interesting. I'm remembering you now. I had a brief look at these earlier. Let's have a look. Okay, oh, how wonderful. We've got the queen of cups. She's not a shy queen of cups, is she? Gosh, if it were me, I would need like a bikini top or something. <laughs> um, but look, she's free, you know, and that's great. So queen of cups, upright. Oh, I really love this card set because the drawings are really cool and I always like seeing the different depictions. Okay, we've got message as another oracle card. Okay. And... We've got the, the fall in reverse, okay. Yes, yes, I remember you now, okay. <clears throat> Apologies about my throat. There was some chakra clearing needed in the first group. I, I feel like you guys are gonna be okay though. I love this spread, this is a really nice spread. And again, it's to do with love. It's really interesting, all three this time are all about love. And where I, I get the feeling that you are in this incredibly loving vibration, and I think you're in, and let's not forget this orange color, this is all, this is like the sacral chakra, right? The second chakra, which is orange, which is all about creativity. So I think your emotions are flowing beautifully. I think you're feeling very creative. What I'm getting here is that you are in a place and you've evolved to an incredible place in life when it comes to love, because you are in a place where you don't want to fight anymore. <laughs> Look at that. You don't want to compete anymore. You don't want to fight anymore. Both fives are in reverse here. This is so interesting. 
Five can be a real transitionary sort of number. But there's, there's definitely, a, it's coming twice, this message. It's a very strong message. Because look at how similar these cards are. And when they're upright, this is very much about competition. This is very much about, well, this is an empty victory card as well. Look, this guy has got these three swords here. He's feeling, oh, yeah, but I mean, I think he might have got these three in, by inappropriate means. These two are kind of, he's crying. He's walked away. And there's an empty victory here. And it's like, I think when it comes to love, you've totally evolved past this. You're like, I don't want to fight any, I don't want to fight anymore. And yeah, I, I shouldn't have to compete. Or, or love shouldn't be such hard work. And I think you're very much in that place. I think you're in a place where you really get what love is. You get what love is and you get what it's all about. You know, it's about just being, you know, because love is not an emotion. It's what you are. And look at the Queen of Cups here. This is what she is. She is love. You know, she... She isn't in need of it. She isn't. She just radiates it. She radiates her being. She radiates love. It's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. I did get, though, there is a little bit of an interesting storyline coming through these, which is kind of interesting. I got a sense that there might be a situation where you like someone, they like you, but you don't know what's going on. Somebody, it feels like somebody's waiting for a message. You're either waiting for a message, you're waiting for someone to act and message you. Maybe you are in a position where you are the one who needs to message somebody. Okay, so that message is definitely coming through. And there is, maybe if you are single, this card is kind of interesting because this would be great if it was upright and you're single and you're excited about this message and you're like, yay, there's something going on and it's all very exciting. But this is in its reverse position. So this is a little bit of an interesting card because it can denote risk, that there is some risk in this new relationship, perhaps, if you've got a new thing and that you could have a new thing because we've got message and we've got action. And this is the early parts of a relationship where, you know, all that stuff, like, is he going to text me? Is she going to text me? Am I supposed to text? Or, or what happens next? It's like there is some excitement here, but I do feel like there's a little bit of risk involved in this relationship. But it, it's an interesting one because I think you're in such a confident place about love where you're like, well, you know, I, I don't want to fight. I don't want to, you know, you, you know how to love. You know what love's all about. So you feel, you're probably feeling like, I can do this slightly risky relationship. I'll, I'll solve it. I'll heal it. I'll, my, love will, my love will overcome, you know. My love will heal that person. Okay, he might be a bit risky or she might be a bit risky but my love is such that it will heal everything i think you're in that place possibly that's what's coming up anyway let's see what's in the jar come on let's see what rumi has to say the master of love let's see what he wants you to know I'm gonna pick two of these I'll pick two for everybody there will be one left over so I, I will, that message will be for me. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be. Um, I might, I'll put it on an Instagram post. How about that? The one that's left over. Uh, okay. Ooh, fantastic. Well, this is a great message for those of you who are perhaps single and maybe you've got some nice thing going on or beginning. Or, but, you know, this is a good message for anyone. This is a good message for everybody. To set your life on fire Seek those who fan your flames. Yeah, this is great for, well, this is great for work as well, you know, like if you're wanting to start something new, start something where you need a following or social media or, you know, maybe you're a light worker just about to start your, your business. There's a lot of people that this applies to, but it's, it's terrific if you're embarking on a new love uh, or something like that, it's really beautiful. 
Seek those who fan your flames. Yeah. I love that. And fire, that's very fifth house, Leo, romance, all that kind of thing. Let's see what else we've got here. What else is coming through? This is so fun to do this. Oh, oh, how fantastic. Yes, this is, somebody's in love here. Some, some new thing is going on. How amazing. Oh, I'm so glad this came through. Lovers don't finally meet somewhere. They are in each other all along. Gosh, that's deep. And it's so beautiful because because this is this is a, I mean this is Rumi you know this is this is the man who has ascended all earthly levels he's graduated to a place where he is the all you know and gosh I just, I just had this incredible thought that imagine if like yeah like like Rumi wanted you you know and it's like he would just smile, he, he, you know, this whole action and do I text next and all that is just, well, he's on a different plane. Lovers don't finally meet somewhere, they are in each other all along. And this can relax you if you are in any form of tension about is that other person going to message or do I do something or no, I think the thing is to relax and in that relaxed spaciousness, your person is going to want to be with you. You know, it's like, so there's, there kind of is nothing to do as such. Like, it will happen. See, it's difficult when it's you who needs to message. I know, because that's hard. It's like, oh, do I or don't I? Or am I, you know, am I crazy? Should I say how I feel? It's all tricky stuff, I know, but I think this quote is pretty amazing in that it's saying to you just relax and when you're relaxed and you're still and you are operating not from the small self but the big self, there's a massive confidence, there's, as I say, there's spaciousness and people love that, people want to be yeah, I've just got the phrase popping into my mind. They want to be in the shade of your tree, you know? Like, it's something like this. I feel like it's something like this that you need to offer someone at this time. Gosh, this has turned out to be a really lovely reading, guys. I, I didn't know half of all this stuff was going to come up. This is great. That thing about, yeah, someone wants to be in the shade of your tree. Wow, that just totally popped in there so that is definitely for one of you out there I don't know who but if that was for you and you got a story about it please do share I love to read your comments every single one of them is so motivating and inspiring to me so thank you so much to those of you who comment I really appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you next time hi there group number three if you chose group number three either via the number or by this beautiful azalea flower then welcome let's have a look at this lovely flower gosh the colors are so pretty and you can see this little jar i've got my mom gave me those so that they don't wilt while i work on these how nice beautiful all right so maybe you chose this pink azalea flower any which way, you're very welcome. So let's begin. Let's take a look at the first card here. The garden and the gate. Wow, that is stunning. 30. Oh, three. You picked three. Yeah, that's your number. As with any of my readings, take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. Okay, we've got... Five of Cups in reverse. We've got the Seven of Wands upright. We've got the Five of Wands upright. Beautiful.
We've got the Knight of Rods in reverse. A lot of fire energy here, wow. And we've got the Concern card, okay. So this is again all about love. It's so amazing. Love is the real theme this time. It's quite incredible how much love is on the table this time. And I mean, Rumi, I, st I started by writing the Rumi quotes and then I drew the cards. So isn't that interesting? I think maybe Rumi chose all of these cards. Oh my God, what a thought. How amazing. Wow. Imagine if he's here right now. Gosh. Anyway, let's take a look and see what's going on here. So when I looked at these briefly earlier, I got a sense that I think you're resolving some old heartbreak. I think you're coming to terms with quite a few things. I think there's some old heartbreak maybe that you went through some time ago. When this is upright, it is that you are you're kind of you're crying about the three cups that have spilt and your back is turned to the two cups that are upright so you're you're crying about what's lost and fair fair enough there's more that you've lost you feel than what you have so that's what happens in this card now that this is in its upside down position i'm going to read this in that you you yeah, I've got the phrase you're over it but it's it's like it's like you're resolving it and I think you are coming out of um you're coming out of feeling sad over the love that's been lost in your life so I don't think you're going to attract the similar situation again but in the resolving of it it's it's really interesting because I've got quite a clear picture here of um so to me i think this was a relationship the one that you're now getting over finally this was a relationship that you had to fight for and this is quite a complicated situation here because i think yes you had to fight for it and at times it was an uphill battle who were you fighting i feel like maybe you were fighting some parents who weren't approving either your partner's parents didn't approve or your parents didn't approve but there's some situation here of somebody or some community or something did not approve of this love you were fighting for it and yet you lost the love anyway even though you were brave and so i think you, you you're when it comes to love i think you're an amazing lover i think you're you're the kind of person who fights for love look at this we've got this card here these five of wands you know whether it's competition or angry parents or a society that doesn't want you or whatever it is it's like well if if you're in love you will love and it doesn't matter and that's extremely commendable that's a wonderful thing and good on you you know we need more people who will fight for love and and uh yeah who, who will do what it takes so i think maybe there's just some energy that's resolving or that's leaving or you know and and this is a situation of youth as well this is not something that affects mature people or you know when you're older it's very different you know sometimes the parents aren't there kind of thing and then you wish that they were you know so it, it's really difficult i think this card in its reverse position the thing i got here when i looked at it earlier was something around impulsiveness or there's some sense of um being impulsive around love something like that i got the sense that, that maybe there is a new thing happening in your love life or some new like maybe you're uh you're not rearing to go there's something about or you're slowing down maybe there's a slowing down when it comes to love something like that uh maybe you're, you're not going in there whoosh like a you know you, you're not in a hurry and i think and i think that's a good thing i think this is really great that this is in its reverse position the knight of wands there so that's terrific i think things are really good here this card I absolutely loved because this 
is another reflection of you and who you are when it comes to love and what you're like and what you're all about. I think, so on the, you, you're this amazing person who will fight for love and you'll do what it takes and you won't be put off by people who are concerned or, you know, oh my God, you know, how, how can you two get together? Or, you, you know, no, you, you know not to be um, worried by this. So that's great. And the other thing that you are is, is depicted here, which is the garden and the gate. I feel like you are this kind of person who, when you love, it, it's, you love freely and there's an expanse. It's like you want to provide that for someone. It's like you're free with me to be who you are. And being with you probably feels like that. It probably feels like this incredible expanse. And, you know, the sun is rising and, and the sky is blue and, you know, the person can run freely and not be judged. And that's a magnificent thing to give to someone, you know, that that space. That's so wonderful. And this card reminded me of an analogy that I have actually for my dad, which was I, you know, when you compare people or have analogies for people or, or think of a person in a creative way, I always used to think my dad was like a great museum, you know, like um, with lots of wings and lots of rooms and all this knowledge and treasures and history and because he knew so much. You know, he was this person who knew everything and like hanging out with him was like going to the the greatest museum in the world kind of thing. And yeah, that this card reminded me of him and how I think of him in that way. And this is a thing with love life that we do, isn't it? That like different people are like places. So for some people, like hanging out with them is like, I don't know, it's like going to Disneyland because they make you laugh or they make you feel good or something. And then there are some people that you date and you go out with and it was like, oh, it was like a walk around the block, you know. Like, <laughs> and, and, and equally, you can be Disneyland to somebody, but you can be a walk around the block to somebody as well you know like it's so interesting isn't it let's see what Rumi has to say about all this so I'm sure I've been a, a walk around the block for some people <laughs> it's like it's like a pamphlet that you chuck in the recycling bin but you know what I mean like I'm not I'm, not, I'm just being funny okay let's take a look and see what quotes have come through let's be serious now come on but I'm sure equally I'm sure I've been a this for somebody to who knows I don't know all right let's let's see what quotes have come through let's hand over to the master of love now because I mean we need to we need somebody experienced here we need somebody who's got some wisdom so let's see what Rumi has to say Ooh, sell your cleverness and buy bewilderment yeah nice oh I like that look at that and that is Sell your cleverness, sell your knowing, like you think you know. It's sell, sell, sell all your thoughts, you know, and buy bewilderment. Live in the mystery, you know. We don't know what's coming next. And that's, that, that is actually the excitement of life, that we don't know. You see, because if we knew everything, how boring would that be? And one of the things, and I, when I used to do, on my website, I haven't really done a relationship reading for a long time, but I, some time ago I had an option for relationship readings. And one of the things, and like couples would listen to my readings or whatever, and um, one of the things I did say to one couple one time was about, yeah, about preserving the mystery, that you actually do want mystery in the relationship. You don't want to know everything about each other. Um Look at that, we've got one left. I'll put it on Instagram. I'll put it on Instagram later. I just thought of that today. Oh, I know, I can put it on Instagram. All right, let's see what the last one is here for you guys. So we've got let the beauty we love be what we do. There are hundreds of ways to kneel and kiss the ground, Rumi. Yeah, absolutely. Let the beauty we love be what we do. And I think that is, you know, it, it is this, it's this thing of what do you love, you know, um, and what would you love to be for someone else in the context of, you know, romantic love. And yeah, and, and for some people, yeah, the, the excitement is 
you know, as, as I was saying, like, yeah, with my dad, it was like, you know, this, this amazing mind, this museum of a mind with all the history knowledge. And all this. So much fun, you know, but this, the freedom that's here in this expanse, like that's such an amazing thing. And we love different things about different people, you know. And there is, I think there is a, and this is, this is kind of a work, a career-related message, really. So it's interesting that through the quotes, a bit of a career thing has come through. Let the beauty we love be what we do. When I was writing this down, this reminded me of, I was watching um, an interview with Ali Abdal recently, and he was talking about when he left university, he thought he had to be an engineer, a doctor, or a lawyer. And he's like, he's doing life now, and he's realizing that there is so much more in this world like you know and we're limited we are limited when we leave school we don't know I was limited I didn't know what was possible I did the usual stuff too wow this has been a really lovely reading guys and I, I get a real sense that um that you're getting ready for new love you know if that's something that you want and are looking for you're being prepared you're getting ready and I'm sure that that will come in at just the right time so guys let me know how this reading went for you today they've all been about love which is really really interesting um yeah i'd love to hear how it how it went and i look forward to seeing you next time 